the SFL playoffs roll on live from Baltimore, Maryland, looking at a live shot of the Bay. It's the Baltimore Vultures and the DC Dragons, two of the most storied franchises and owners in league history go head to head in the white tops with black shoulders and blue bottoms with black helmets over the middle intercepted. That's something that Baltimore does better than almost anybody else in this league. Giovanni Bolt with the takeaway. Yeah, Baltimore coming out there defensively. It looked like a dime package that they had there. Or excuse me, a nickel package that they had there. Uh, there you see Synergy going over the middle. And really, I think he trusts his arm just a little bit too much there. I mean, you see number 41 in black hanging around the middle of the field. You probably don't want to throw his way. He's one of the best safeties we've ever seen in our league. And now we're looking at Baltimore with the ball here in their own territory. This time, Wigmore alone in the backfield against a three-man rush. Floats it out there on a one-handed catch by Daly Holder. A very capable fullback in T. Roy Gaines. I mentioned move was the former running back of this team. Moved to fullback. There's a pass into the flat for Ivory Irvin. And they've got all the receivers out there, plus the two tight ends sliding up on the right. Everybody going down the field. Wigmore going to wide, wide open. open catch. Touchdown, Baltimore. Matt Chima. No running back. No problem for the defending champs. Port, thank you for helping the SFL reach 10 years of operation through your viewership. Into the flat. Caught by Chima. Turning up field for a first down. Uh, two drives ago. Five wide here for Wigmore. He's going to go deep. He's going to be... Caught by Ivory Irvin. It is up. It is good. Tarkington now 28 for 28. Want it to be a third and two or third and three. Stepping up in the pocket. Hit as he throws. Tipped and intercepted. Exactly what you didn't want to happen if you're DC. It's the second pick of the game for Giovanni Bolt. Situation here on third and 10 for the Vultures. Wigmore whips that left hand forward and connects down to the 20-yard line. A beautiful throw across his body. Wigmore throwing end zone touchdown post route to perfection. Again to Prococo over the middle and again a first down. Shame on you, me, fool me, fool. I don't know what the saying is. I'm not very good with it. Over the middle, it's caught. That time they left the middle open and it's the other tight end, Craig Westlake with the catch. He swings his right leg through it. It is no good, he missed it short. Fresh shut of downs now for the Vultures. High formation. Morehouse up the middle, fantastic block, and he gets free, and he gets another block, and goes down the middle of the field to the 40, <laughs> to the 30, to the 20. Is he going to go all the way? No. He's going to be stopped by Peanut Say at the 10. Hole perfectly on that play as well to open up the hole for Morehouse. Wigmore to Morehouse, plenty of time, plenty of space, picks up a block, excellent patient running, and Damon Morehouse finds the end zone, and a better start for Baltimore in the second half you couldn't have dreamed of if you're wearing red and black. This is a good drive for DC shaping up there into Baltimore territory. Synergy going to air it out and it's going to be intercepted and Ben stacking paper with one of the most absolutely athletic oh, interceptions no. that I've seen. Oh no and he's hurt himself. He comes up injured on the play. But that highlight will live forever. What a ridiculous catch by number 35. Just a testament to this defense's ability. Third and two, say, middle first down. Looks like they might be trying some sort of tight end pass again. They're going to go to the side, and Craig Westlake picks up the first down. Uh, particularly because of Ben Stacking Paper's speed not being out there. Say nice one-handed catch and he turns up field and he dives down to the nine-yard line. He'll give him the 10 at the spot of the ball. From the 10-yard line, first and goal. Synergy under pressure immediately fires to the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. And DC is finally on the board. Albeit they did get points. 
Morehouse again, a fantastic block. Again, he's got offensive lineman blocking for him 30 yards down the field. And he's going to break a tackle and get all the way down to the 15-yard line. Unbelievable. <laughs> Damon Morehouse. Listen, did somebody get this man a contract. <laughs> somebody please get this man a contract. Get it to him now because he absolutely deserves it. He is having a heck of a game coming in as a replacement for the incredibly talented Warren Murray. And off to T-Roy Gaines, and he scores a touchdown. We were waiting for him all game long. He finally makes his presence known. For the final time, welcome back into Sports Gamers Online Stadium. Michael Trullo and Jay Hayden on commentary for you for this one. Kevin Irvine, our producer, Zach Holdorf, and Justin reside on stats. Deep ball caught by Gill, and he's going to roll into the end zone. DC putting some points on the board late on. Nice snap. Synergy corrals it and fires. And it's going to be a touchdown. Mike Churchill, and it's going to be a touchdown. There was definitely a, a game that I called where a team snatched a uh, defeat from the jaws of victory in the last couple of minutes. The reality is, is, you know, outside, as, as we mentioned in the first quarter, outside of that, this game was pretty much in hand for Baltimore, even with them losing two, not one, but two of their best players on different sides of the field, Ben Stack and Paper and Warren Murray. It still didn't matter. Baltimore was still Baltimore. The game is over. The dream is alive for the Vultures.